I've been a hybrid drummer for over five years now, tried a lot of equipment, and I'm excited to introduce you to my latest addition to the setup, the Evans Hybrid Sensory Percussion Sound System. This incredible setup has added a whole new dimension to my drumming by allowing me to shape and experiment with sounds on the fly. When you first get your hands on something like this, it can be a bit overwhelming. I felt the same way when I started, but the more I played around with it, the more I realized the endless creative possibilities it offers. Once you start exploring the presets and digging into the edit menu, it starts to make sense. Today I'm going to show you features that are simple and really usable on the drum set. But first let me show you a few built-in presets. I mostly use hybrid drums for live electronic music and the Evans sensory system is a game changer for that. Right now I've got mesh heads on my kick, snare and floor tom and these sensors are connected to the Evans portal interface and the Sensory Percussion 2 software is running on my laptop. There are plenty of great setup tutorials out there so I won't bore you with that now but check out the description for some helpful links. Okay, let's dive into the fun part. I've crafted a few sets and I'm going to play something for you now and after that I'll break down my favorite features.
Now what's so cool about the sensor repercussion system? These sensors are pretty smart. They can identify up to 10 zones on your drums and you can map all sorts of software magic to your playing. Like velocity, how soft or hard you hit, or the speed of your drumming, or you can change settings as you transition from the center of a drum to its edge, and much more. Now I only used one-shot samples and the delayed shaker sounds from the SPDSX Pro. Everything else was from this software. So what did I do with the sensory percussion system today? I added reverb by varying my playing velocity. I controlled distortion by using velocity. I achieved pitch shifting by moving from the center to the edge. I turned on and off kick layers by hitting the bass drum's rim. I also created a sequence of sounds. Drop a comment with your favorite feature. When I first got my hands on this system a few weeks ago, I decided to dive into techno music first to avoid getting lost in all the possibilities. But you can apply it to any genre and even play great acoustic drum sounds. I'm going to keep experimenting, so if you are interested in the stuff I come up with next, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.